Did you know that New York's architectural journey began as early as the 17th century? The initial steps were characterized by Dutch and English colonial styles. These structures in their simplicity and practicality echoed the architectural ethos of their European forebears. They were modest, yet functional, reflecting the pioneering spirit of the early settlers. The blend of European aesthetics with the New World's pragmatism set the stage for a unique architectural legacy. This humble beginning marked the genesis of the magnificent skyline we see today. As we move into the late 19th and early 20th centuries, New York's architecture starts to reach for the sky. This is the era of the skyscraper, a time of towering ambition and dizzying heights, quite literally. Out of this period emerged some of the city's most iconic silhouettes. Take for example the Flatiron Building, a triangular marvel that slices through the cityscape with its unique shape. Then there's the Empire State Building, a testament to the city's relentless drive upwards. But none of this would have been possible without the influence of the Chicago School and the introduction of steel frame construction. This new method allowed architects to build higher and stronger, without the limitations of traditional brick and mortar. As a result, the sky was no longer the limit for New York's ambitions. These towering structures revolutionized New York's landscape, transforming it into the city of skyscrapers. Post-World War II, New York's architecture took a modernist turn, reflecting the city's constant evolution. The city's skyline was reshaped by the principles of modernism, focusing on function, simplicity, and the innovative use of materials. The Seagram Building, a masterpiece of the international style, stands as a testament to this era, its bronze-clad exterior embodying the ideal of form following function. As we move into the latter half of the 20th century, post-modernism emerges. This movement, a reaction to the perceived sterility of modernism, brought a renewed emphasis on ornamentation, color, and whimsical forms. The Guggenheim Museum, with its spiraling form and unconventional use of space, encapsulates this playful spirit. The architectural landscape of New York is a melting pot of styles, from the austere lines of modernism to the eclectic forms of postmodernism. From the sleek lines of modernism to the playful forms of postmodernism, New York's architecture continues to evolve, mirroring the city's vibrant spirit. New York's architectural journey is a testament to its resilience and adaptability. From colonial styles that marked its birth to the towering skyscrapers symbolizing its ascend to greatness, and the modernist influences shaping its contemporary persona, New York's architecture has evolved in remarkable ways. What awaits us in the future? Perhaps an even richer blend of styles, a testament to New York's never-ending reinvention. As we look forward to the future of New York's architecture, one thing is certain, it will continue to inspire and amaze us, just as it has for centuries.